If you need to put tenons on the end of some deck rails, you could hunt around and put some dowels in the ends of them or try to find a lathe and cut them that way, but there's a better way. This is a tip from Peter Blackmore from Courtney, British Columbia. And Peter used a table saw with a dado head to cut tenons on the ends of his balusters. Here's how it works. Here's the dado head down in here, and it's, notice how it's sandwiched between uh, one of our guide rails here and the fence on the other side. I've got two of these guide rails, and in each one, there's a hole board that's the same as the diagonal dimension of our baluster. I'm going to be putting the, the baluster through perpendicular to the, the blade, and we're using the fence as a depth stop. So as the baluster comes across, the distance from the fence to the dado head equals the length of the tenon, and the height of the dado head is the thing that you use to adjust the diameter of the tenon. The important thing to remember here is that you want to turn the baluster the same direction as the rotation of the blade. Go slowly, and if you want to make sure that you don't get tear out around the end of the, the tenon, wrap it in some masking tape. I'll show you how it works. Good tip, Peter. Thanks for sending that.